everyone, I'm Vixie and welcome back to my art vlog channel. Uh, we have Pepe the Frog here um, on our welcome sign. If you'd like to add anything to our welcome sign, please pop that in the comments and I will try to add them as I see them. Speaking of Pepe, today's uh, to topic is... Uh, we're up to the letter P. Uh, I was thinking past, present sort of things. Uh, we are going to get stuck back into painting the abstract symbolism portrait, another P word portrait, uh, which I am going to continue to build up some more texture in here. Uh, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to put a kind of open up this area right here into maybe a bit more of a diamond shape uh, and then I have a few other, I, I will be adding most of the things just in this region here, uh, however I do want to get more of the shimmering happening. We are starting to work much more with the shimmers now that uh, our matte base has been put on there already and what I've done is I've actually poured um, some water into this part of my palette over here this larger circular well uh, and as I mentioned in the previous episode regarding the thinning medium I'm using just plain water as my thinning medium because I'm working with acrylics now, if you are working with oils or shellacs or other types of paint, then you do have to get a specific oil medium that matches that particular type. Now, I'm putting in some silver streaks and a silver wash sort of thing. And a wash is just your 60% water, 30% paint. And that will give you a very, very runny sort of consistency. Which I didn't measure anything out, I just eyeballed it. Yeah, I'm getting a few sort of little, I guess you could call them pixels coming through here which I do not like. So I am again going to go over that with some blue. Uh, I do kind of like this kind of cloudy effect that I'm getting in here, so I am going to go in with a bit of this nice light blue. I kind of like maybe a bit of this one as well. Now, a slightly more advanced method is not getting the paint evenly on your brush. So that means like you get one of the paints on one side of the brush and another paint on the other and you don't swirl it around too much. And that, that way you kind of get a little bit of, again, another texture coming through. Yep, really liking that with the blue. We are 
are going to do quite the similar thing with gold down here on the beach area which I am also going to put a whole lot more yellow on because you can see a few of these streaks of green coming through still that we really want to cover up blend in those edges a bit more as well. So we want to get both texture and blending happening. I'm going to use quite a bit more yellow. I'm going to go with the darker yellows at first and then bring it out to the lighter yellows. really going to try to pack on as much of it as we can to really cover up any of that streaking. And we're, since we're going to be working more on this middle portion, we're not going to be too worried about what's happening down here. So I can pack on a fair bit knowing that this will have time to completely dry before we start doing much else with it. Uh, I'm going to change brushes because this very flat one is not giving me the shapes that I want. I'm going to go for a much more rounder brush here. But still really packing that on. I'm going in with like just dry so not thinning the paint out at all. Start using my much lighter yellows. And I didn't even bother really washing the brush. Uh, I am getting to the bottom of this yellow right here. So I am going to have to use a bit more of the even lighter yellow in a minute. I might actually go darker first and then we'll put on some more lighter yellow later on because as I said really want to cover up any of those parts that are just streaky we don't want any streaks so get rid of all the streaks yeah really pat that in there and I'm just I'm patting on the colour, like so, to really pack it on there. I really want to just pack that on there. Oops, so just packing it right on there. Uh, plus, when you uh, use the brush and just, when as you pull it off, right, it kind of makes pulls up the paint a bit, leaving kind of a patchy kind of texture as well, which I like. Start blending that in a bit. So, yeah, just uh, patting it on like that packs on an amount of paint as well as brings up some little peaks and causes some textures. So. Really tap, 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 tap.
can we? I can still see a little bit showing through, but I think we're, we're making quite a lot of progress. Another P word. I think uh, progress is something that I find motivates me, knowing that I'm actually getting somewhere when I'm doing something. Uh, procrastinate is another P word, which sometimes I do. And procrastination happens when you get overwhelmed, which... Uh, I'll put her link in the description. Again, there's this uh, psychologist who she talks about it on her channel and gives some really good advice about it. So about just managing those feelings of getting overwhelmed, which I have found to be immensely helpful. So please do check out her channel and offer her some support as well by liking and sharing and subscribing and all that. Uh, oh, and yeah, while you're at it, please like, share, and subscribe this channel. It really does help a lot, and as I keep saying, it will unlock the ability to do some live content as well. Yeah, so as I was saying, seeing some progress, momentum happens when you're already moving. That's physics, another P word, physics. So. Yeah, I'm quite liking the amount of texture I'm building up here. Uh, I will need that to dry before I put in another layer. Uh, I don't want to rush too much into doing this middle portion just yet because once I get started on doing that middle portion it's going to be very hard to correct anything so I just want to make sure that I really get in there with any last bits of pink, another P word, pink, my favorite color, and then really just clean up any bits that I want have some extra pigment. <laughs> Another P word, pigment. Uh, I'm not going to put too much more in the middle here because that's where a majority of that's going to get covered up anyway. So I'm just going to be putting in a little more textured lines and things in here. On the edges. Blend in those areas with the drapes. We are almost there in the sense that I could probably start painting into the middle part real soon. Okay, well, so just thinking the best way to do this is I'm going to go straight in with some gold. Uh, I'm quite glad that I went and got like a whole tube of the whole large of the larger tube of gold because I probably will be using gold a fair bit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now I'm gonna 
very, very thickly, but on a very, very thin brush. I'm gonna open up this area right here in a sort of diamond shape. I don't want to let the area quite wash because I'm trying to squeeze in a whole heap of things on here. So I'm sort of making the edges of a rift, if you will, right here. And this is, this part here is kind of more of a guideline at the moment. Because I'm going to have things popping out of this area as well. Now, uh, in my short film, The Price of Art, which is, uh, I did check, it is actually premiered on this channel. Again, a lot of letter P's there. Uh, so if you do want to check that out as well, that's available to you on here. Blending this out a little bit so I'm not 100% pleased with how that is. That's better to me. Yeah. So, yes, making progress. Uh, I always do like seeing progress uh, in my Price of Art video. There is a painting that is displayed right at the end where it's... Uh, I was really happy because I think I really nailed it in making what I envisioned in my head on the canvas for that one, which is... It's quite rare actually because very often you have this image in your head and you start painting it and it comes out a little bit different but you know you like ah close enough but this one came out almost pretty much for exactly what I wanted in my head and it was the symbolism of the actual heart right so the heart little like you know nose of the shape the heart uh but it also had a little bit of anatomy, so you could sort of still see the anatomical shape of a heart. Uh, and I kind of like blended the two together, so it was a little bit of the symbol, but you could still sort of see the anatom how the anatomic similarities with the vena cava and the and the veins and the arteries. So again, I kind of want to have that sort of thing appear here, uh, the sort of sim both symbolic and actual kind of heart po poking through here. So I'm going to start putting down some of the red. So we're going to put some red. Um, I'm actually going to put the red and the pink uh, metallic pink as the base. So I'm going to try to build up. I think I'm going to actually have it start poking out of the 
I have just spilled paint all over myself. And again, this is why I was just like, make sure you have um, make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting paint on. That's a very important part of painting. So Uh, stuff is still a little bit wet, but we're, uh, at the moment just sort of getting some outlines and shapes happening. So I'm going to have it poke out a little bit, but very much so. In fact, I'm going to have the stylized part poke out so that it need a bit more water. I'm going to fill up this other well with some water because then that can be like more water filled. Up. Sometimes I sort of feel like it helps to sort of think as the water as if it is another paint, like it is a clear paint that you're mixing together. Like when you envision it that way. You can kind of blend them together as if you would a color. So that was poking out of the rift. I'm really liking how that color is coming up with the little bit of the silvery pink and the little bit of like silvery metallic pink and the red. Um, this will be a background basis of other things that are to come. So again, I'm going to make it fairly big. And it's kind of, I guess, appropriate that this, that we're working on this part for this video on the letter P because like I said about the past and the present, uh, I think this person has, I, and I think all people do, have a lot of things in the past and the present really kind of at heart, like just as part of them as well as just things like memories that they keep, I mem memories that they keep in their heart that kind of shape them as a person as well. And I'm just trying to keep this nice rounded shapes happening. I quite like that. I'm just getting this completely, again, just filled in thing. So that is a really good basis, I think. I'm quite happy with that being the starting point for things to come. Uh, this will definitely need to dry before I can actually do anything else to it though. So, uh, I think I can extend it out even a little bit. Because I think this person has a big heart as well, so. I mean, certainly all the clues I'm going to pop in here in their heart, uh, around their heart. I have like a lot of these great ideas for it. And so, yeah, definitely want a nice big heart to put all that in. Yeah. So that's the beginning of that. Uh, I'm going to uh, wrap up this video. Uh, thank you again everyone who has been supporting my channel uh, that has come and viewed uh, this 
video today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. The subscribe is super important to me. It really will. Uh, we, we are 30 people out of the 50 people that I need. So we need another 20. So we're past halfway. Past halfway there. Yeah, living on a prayer. That's one of my favorite songs. Absolutely love Bon Jovi. So, um, so thank you, thank you so much for your support, and I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, bye.